Google DeepMind has released Gemma 3N. This model previously was in preview and I've created a video about this powerful, efficient, mobile first AI. Um, so this is multi-model model and it was available in preview. Now they have released it on Hugging Face and Kaggle and other locations for general use. So what is special about Gemma 3N? So Gemma 3N represents a major advancement for on-device AI, bringing powerful multi-model capabilities to edge devices with performance previously only seen in last year's cloud-based frontier models. So it is multi-model by design. It natively, Gemma 3N natively supports image, audio, video, and text inputs and text outputs. It is optimized for on-device. So even though effective parameters of this model, the raw parameter count is 5 billion and 8 billion respectively, Architectural innovations allow them to run with as little as 2 GB for the 2 bill, uh, 5 billion parameter and 3 GB for the 8 billion parameter model. Okay, so it features uh, groundbreaking architecture like Matformer architecture uh, per layer embeddings. Okay, what is this Matformer architecture? It is actually a Matryoshka transformer. So within a full-fledged parameter transformer, you have sub-models which are available at various parameters. Okay, so within a 5 billion parameter transformer, you have 2 billion, uh, you know, sub transformer model available, right? And it comes with new audio and mobile net V5 based vision encoders, uh, enhanced quality. What they are saying is that Gemma 3N supports 140 languages for text and multi-model understanding of 35 languages, quality improvement across math, coding, reasoning. Uh, this particular E4B version achieves LM Arena score of over 1300 making it the first model under 10 billion parameters to reach this particular benchmark okay so they talk about mat former which is one model mini sizes at the core of gemma 3 is the mat former or matryoshka transformer architecture a novel nested transformer built for elastic inference a larger model contains smaller fully functional versions of itself so it is kind of an extension of the concept of matryoshka representation learning from just embeddings to all transformer components so that is the idea over here so you can actually try this model on google uh, ai basically the ai studio you can try it out over there it is available on hugging face kaggle so i thought of trying it out on um, you know a collab notebook so i took their official gemma 3 uh, inference um, notebook and i made certain changes for it to run so in this video i'll explain about that as well so let's try out a Gemma 3N and see how it works. Okay. So what they're saying is that first you need to actually go to hugging face. You need to go to this model page. If you're using 3N, um, the 4 billion parameter, basically the 5 billion parameter model. Okay. You need to apply over here and get access to this particular model. And then you need to create an access token and you need to put that access token in your hugging face secrets. Okay. You need to put it over here. So once you do that, the first thing you do is that you read that hugging face access token over here. And then what I realized is that um, actually you need to, they didn't have this mentioned, but you need to install the latest PyTorch image models, basically the Tim library for it to work. Otherwise it doesn't work. I wish Google updates their official documentation to take care of these things because the code snippet, which they gave over here as an example also doesn't work. Okay. So I had to make some changes. So first you need to install this particular library. It'll ask for a restart session. You need to do it. Then you need to install the latest version of Torch and the latest version of Transformers. Again, uh, you need to, uh, you know, it'll ask for, so what I did was I installed the latest version of Transformers directly from the Transformers repository and you need to restart. Okay. So once you do this, now you can actually load the model like this. So you can use the hugging face text generation pipeline for text generation. So the task is text generation. The model is Google Gemma 3 and E4B, right? Uh, so this model when loaded into memory takes close to 16 GB of GPU RAM. Okay. So even though they claim it can run on an edge, so you need to actually have some kind of reduced version of this to run on edge devices. But here it takes 16 GB of RAM, 16 GB of GPU VRAM, and you can run your text generation pipeline like this. So text inputs, roses are red. So then it tries to generate text around it. So if you see over here, it, you know, it kind of repeats a lot of text over here, but this is text generation. Okay. So then they say that you can use a prompt template, but unfortunately this throws up an error. So I did not do it. Uh, so for the image generation pipeline, okay. To, you can give an image as an input and you can explain, you can ask the model to explain the image. 
So what they are saying is that you can create pipeline like this, image text to text, modelize this thing, uh, Gemma 3 n e 4 b and you can run text generation like this, right? But this also throws an error. Okay, so given an image, your this also throws a play template. So you should not do it like this, but instead you should do it like this. So from transformers, you should import auto processor Gemma 3 n for conditional generation. Model ID is this thing, Gemma 3 n e 4 b This is the instruction tuned version. So there are four uh, versions of Google Gemma models. So you have the, this is your eight, uh, what do you call, five billion parameters. Actually it is eight billion parameters over here right 3n e4b but effective 4 billion parameters is what they are claiming right which can run in around 3 gb of memory that's what they claim over here okay so this is the uh, even though it is 2b is over here so it is effective 2b uh, billion parameters but its model size is 5.98b so this can run in 2 gb of memory okay then you have instruction tuned versions of both this e4b and e2b over here so for running, uh, uh, you know, for the multi-model, so I've used the, uh, what do you call, the instruction tuned model over here. This also takes close to 16 GB of memory. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give an image like this, okay? And I'm going to ask this model to describe this image in detail. Let's have a look at the image. So this is the image, a bee on a flower, okay? So here, let's look at what it does. So what we need to do is that we need to instantiate the model like this, Gemma 3 and conditional generation from pre-trained, device map and all those stuff. Processor is auto um, processor from pre-trained, model ID. Messages are like this. System prompt is your helpful assistant. In the user content, you give an image type and you give this image URL. And then in the text, you are asking for describe this image in detail. Okay. Then you apply the processor chat template over here and then you give it for inference, the inputs, and you decode the uh, you know, our, our generated output over here. Okay. So when you run this again, it takes close to 16 GB of RAM and it says captured from a slightly elevated perspective. The image showcases vibrant pink cosmos flower in full bloom with a small fuzzy bumblebee diligently collecting nectar from its center. The flower's petals are a soft, delicate pink radiate outwards from a bright, uh, bright yellow central disc. The petals have a slightly textured appearance with subtle veins running along their length. The bumblebee is positioned in the heart of the flower. It's black and yellow stripes clearly visible against yellow center. Its wings are slightly blurred. So it gives a very good explanation for this particular photograph. Okay. So this is how you can give images as input and generate outputs. You can also generate text from audio data. Okay. Uh, so it's the same thing. You again load the model, uh, this thing. So one thing to be remembered over here is that with every instantiation of the model, I'm actually restarting this kernel because this, I'm running it on an L4 GPU. It has 22.5 GB of GPU RAM. But every time, when the first time I did for the text generation, the model, it took 16 GB of memory. Then again, when I did for the, uh, you know, um, uh, what do you call the image to text conversion, Again, it takes 16 GB image to text, uh, basically generate text for image again, 16 GB. So I have actually restarted the kernel again. I've restarted the, um, say, um, what do you call notebook for this audio part. Okay. So here there is an audio like this. So let's hear this audio. Roses are red, violets are blue. Roses are red, violets are blue. So you can give like this and then you can run your audio to text generation over here by applying the processor chat template. So here you have to mention type is equal to audio in your audio template, uh, in your messages, and you have to give this audio link over here URL. And you are saying uh, in the prompt is transcribe this audio and complete the statement. And you can run it like this for inference, right? You can print the text. Text is roses are red, violets are blue. So it has done a good, uh, you know, this is basically speech to text conversion. So this is a multi-model model. You can uh, work with images, you can give audio plus uh, text inputs, you can give image plus text inputs to this particular model. So you can run this uh, in friends notebook and you can try it for yourself. Okay. Now they also have another, uh, you know, Matt former lab. So Matryoshka transformers lab on how you can actually take this Gemma 3N model and how you can compress it into a smaller memory footprint model. Okay. So that is what they have explained in this particular collab notebook. You can check out this notebook to understand more about that. Uh, you can access the models on hugging face. You can access it on Kaggle. So this is a very interesting release from Google. Um, this is again, open weights model. So you can go and try out this particular model and to understand more about the model, you can check out this blog about, you know, what is their newer development in terms of mobile net, Wi-Fi, their new state of art vision encoder. 
a technical report will come in the future that is what they're saying over here um, this is what we did automatic speech recognition using this particular model so what they're saying is Gemma 3n uses an advanced audio encoder based on universal speech model so they can do this audio to text conversion right and it can also do automatic speech translation and then they talk about uh, this per layer embeddings and other things which you can check over here hope this video on Gemma 3n is useful to you see you in another video